Bro, I was born too late, man. Take care. That's an automobile, man. I'll tell you right now. That's about as old school or whatever the hell that guy's playing on his bike. Everything else that's parked here, I don't care what it is or how much it costs, doesn't compare and compare. I just told the guy, I have a friend who I who has a 70 DeVille convertible. It's almost like that, and it's cost him like a hundred grand to restore that car. So the question is, have I ever filmed a walking video on this street, Henri Julien? The only answer is maybe, or I would say likely. And, uh, you know, it's funny because just this area right here, just this area alone right here in the Plateau Montréal area is the reason why people live here, why it costs so much to live here. Because this is as historic as it gets. It's just beautiful. I mean, Right there when I saw the roof line on these townhouses, I said, that's it, I gotta make a walking video because a lot of times I go walking around and I'm not recording when I should be, you know? So as much as I knocked the plateau for uh, being, you know, a bunch of uh, hipster artists that live here, well, hey, I'm an artist, I'm eccentric. And uh, I, I would never live here. This is bizarre. I would never live here but I mean, I definitely like floating around here at times, not all the time, but definitely at times. And again, it's just got so much rich French Canadian architecture, you know, with these buildings built over 100, 150, sometimes even 200 years old or more. I'm not an expert on this subject, you know. Like, look at this beautiful antique here I never noticed before. I'm not even sure I've ever even walked on this uh, street before this part. Well, on this street, yes, but on this part of it, I don't know. It's a pretty long street, I think. Maybe even goes all the way to a Hunsik. Look at that. It's like a, kind of a castle, you know? Look at that. Beautiful. Man, as a matter of fact, it's so lavish and even, damn it, even ornate. That, uh, I've lost my train of thought. Something's responding. Okay, start over. No, I'm just kidding. Just thought I would just make a joke here and start recording and again luckily I was right close to the street here where this square is because I did happen to get from a long distance away that fire truck responding that pumper I thought about waiting to see if I can get the ambulance responding and I'm like ah I've already got my quota for today so sort of speak if you're familiar with what I do I don't need to explain but what I mean is that you know I try to always every day or almost every day when I'm out there filming stuff to strive to catch the stuff that I want to get like one freight train one or two emergency vehicles responding, maybe one vintage car. I just filmed actually a 69 Cadillac DeVille convertible, just turned a corner there, just from there, just driving by these historic buildings. It was beautiful, it was dynamite. Because frankly, as I realized this year, I had kind of an epiphany, is that I'm too old school. And yeah, I'm walking in the middle of the street, I like it. I like it, I dig it, you know? Not surprising to see this here. Only, unfortunately, one of the problems with these aging, old, historic buildings, like old cars, classic cars, or anything that's really old, that's got a lot of parts, they often need work, you know? Roof work, floors, electrical, plumbing. I had a friend many years ago when my dad died, I got an inheritance, you know, and anyway, I blew it all, but that's another story. And, you know, he says, why don't you buy a building? You know, because he kind of talked like that. He kind of sounded like a bird, you know? Well, he was one of my best friends. And, uh... I'm like, man, you know, I'm not as entrepreneur as he is, and I definitely was not at that time at all. So that's something that started more uh, the year, a couple of years after. See, this was all repainted, but that's all original style, original uh, detailing and all that. Guy across the street from my place has one of these wagons, which I don't hate, actually, and I'm not a... Again, you know me, if you know me, I'm not a big fan of modern Volkswagens, really, uh, generally speaking. You know, I don't know if that's a shadow, I'm going to assume it is. So yeah, basically this area is like where I live in Hochelaga, but it's just, it's more expensive. The, you know, the buildings are more beautiful. Uh, again, more details, uh, but there's also, uh, like, look at this beauty here. This looks like it could have been an armory, maybe, I think. Uh, I don't know. I. Uh, oh yeah, this is the building that looks like a castle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel kind of stupid because I don't know what the building is. I'll have to go and check it out or something. But I can tell by that building, though, that I'm coming up to uh, 
Avenue des Pins, which is a French, of course, for Pine Avenue. Avenue des Pins, which, not surprisingly, I can see is under construction. Construction, là. I hear a plane there somewhere. Oh, there it is. The plane, the plane. I zoom, I zoom. I have capability. It's a, it's a Star Alliance. Uh, I think it was a Star Alliance. Uh, this looks familiar. The old fucking uh, tear up the street to replace the pipes because the pipes are like freaking 70, 80 years old about. So uh, they kind of get rusty <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> You know you're from Montreal when you've seen those fucking old pipes they pull out from under here. It's unbelievable. Like, it's disgusting. It looks like something out of a horror movie. Look, you got your Canadian flag and the... I don't know what the other flag is. Anyway. You see what just went by there? That guy's waiting to become a statistic. Especially if he's going at night. You know, wow, that's a hell of a job, eh? Anyway, we're going to continue uh, northbound since I don't know what the hell this... Well, wait a minute. Let me see here. La quoi, le musée? Fusillé. Mais qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, fusillé? Oh, it, it, I was right. It was an armory, a military base. Man, that must have been one of the oldest ones in Canada, eh? Ça doit être un des plus vieux au Canada. Oh, yeah, he's a gentleman here. He says probably about 150 years. I would definitely say so. I mean, come on, it looks like a castle, for Christ's sake. It looks like it could have been made in the 1600 something when there's medieval days and shit, and you get hanging and guillotines and. London style, yeah, yeah. Vous êtes gentil, monsieur, merci. T'es en train de faire une marche, une vidéo sur la rue ici. Je suis un gars fier de ma ville, mais dans un autre sens, des fois, là, comme bien du monde, on devient tanné. Ah, tout le monde. Ah, écoute. Puis on joue dans ta vie partout, là, la vraie. Ah, that was cool. That's what's great about this time of year. Even right now, it's warm, there's a few drops falling. I don't think it's a big deal, really, but it would be kind of cool if you had a thunderstorm and it wasn't foreseen. I've only seen that one time in my life when I lived in Ville Saint Pierre. But yeah, a gentleman there in a construction area guarding the road there. I was chatting with him for a bit and, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, we're talking about how like it's, it's so expensive around here just to, to fix certain things, you know, you to keep them original, uh, to keep things original, but it's just, it's, it's almost impossible. It's too expensive, uh, buildings like this and stuff. I mean, a street alone, you know, uh, uh, for example, uh, in related, I remember I, um, I uh, read one time last year, they said that it was like, what was it again? I think it costs like $3,000 just to remove the snow from one kilometer a street in Montreal, which I'm sure would be probably about the same anywhere else for that matter. Now we are at Roy, Roy Street, like Patrick Roy. These electric cars here. I'm not for electric cars anymore. I'm just, I just think it's just bogus. You know, I, I don't even want to go into it really. It's just, look at it. It's just a bubble, fucking electric bubble that pollutes like crazy just to make that stupid battery for that car. Which if you need to change the battery costs like 12 grand, I'm not going to say more than that. It's just preposterous. And by the way, those of you who follow all my videos, you watch the bus videos, and yeah, I do love those new flyer buses, those electric Excelsiors, but to be honest with you, I'd like them even if they were diesel or not, because again, yeah, the, the electric is quieter, it doesn't pollute, but again, I mean, for one thing, you gotta charge that thing like five, six hours. Five, six hours! You know? How is Hydro-Quebec supposed to keep up and have that much energy of demand for all these electric vehicles? Like, everything's supposed to be fucking electric in the future? The government thinks they're gonna you have like zero emission by, what did they say, 2035 or something? They're dreaming, man. They're out of their mind. It's a bunch of dreamers, man. Look how, the, look how the buildings have changed here suddenly, eh? I'm noticing that. Look, they look more like the ones in my area, in Hochelaga. They're much more simpler, and look at this one over here all boarded up there, eh? Could have been a crack house or something. I don't know, man. You know, it's... Who knows? Maybe it's haunted? No, I'm just kidding. I, I would like to think so. But sometimes I do think that, you know, like regardless, suburbia, city, you see a building, it's vacant, boarded up, grass is all overgrown. And, you know, you think to yourself, yeah, maybe... Uh, there was a haunting there, right? A major haunting uh, paranormal uh, activity because of uh, somebody was murdered there. That's usually the case, unfortunately. Usually people who are murdered and for some reason the person who's murdered never leaves their home, their ghost that is, so they haunt the people that are there or bother them. A few raindrops coming down here, you know. 
Like, look at this little job right here. How much do you think this place is worth, eh? Like, really, how many millions of dollars does this place go for nowadays compared to, let's say, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, right? But that's like any city that's popular, you know, Chicago, uh, you know, New York, Los Angeles. San Francisco is not as popular as it used to be, and neither is Los Angeles due to the homeless and taxes problem. It's, uh, <clears throat> and we're getting like that here too as well. And that's one of the reasons, actually, quite frankly, I didn't want to go too far today because I'm tired of freaking taking transit all the time and taking fucking scrap everywhere on one part of the city or the other. And then you got the people with no class and uh, homeless or, or they smell bad or whatever you know traffic is just aggravating it's aggravating you know i'm just tired of it gotta take a break i figure for a that's why i'm glad i got back into these paintings you know and that's an old sign that's, that's why i'm glad i've got wow that's a cool bike holy mackerel at least it's got some color right so that's why i'm glad i've got into back into doing the paintings uh full time now so to speak because Again, it keeps my ass at home, responsibility, and uh, not to go out for as much or as long. Look, they didn't even call for rain today. Hilarious. I don't think they did at all. Look, there's some kind of response over there, I see. Oh. Oh, yeah, and how long am I going to film this? I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas quoi la pola. A little bit tired out today. Okay, it's raining a little bit now. We can't have it rain too much here. This camera is not, uh, is not, uh, doesn't like the water. You know, it doesn't like the problems. I ruined actually a camera like this once. I think the first one I had, I ruined it because of that. You know, sometimes I'm on these like kind of narrow old streets, you know, and I, I imagine not only the old cars, but I mean going way back, even before cars or just before cars were, were you know, commonly seen, you know, just horse, ba horse buggies and stuff like that, horse and wagons, wagons, you know, yeah, no? see, ideally I would have filmed this going southward here like this because see the lighting is better, but whatever, yeah, that's kind of a shame, hey, look at this one, it's different, it's like pink salmon. It's all like covered up mostly by this huge tree, which is actually amazing. This tree is actually still there, you know? You know, this area like mine, or well, not like mine, actually, this area is like Point St. Charles. It's about the same age, it's really old, and they actually in the past practically had no trees. Now they have more trees, but you know, not like a ton of them. Ah, oh, shit, I just remembered I got, I forgot to call somebody back actually that called me. Drat! Ah, uh, whatever. Working on a painting today there of a, uh, for a friend of an, what is it again? It's an 87, I think. It's a Buick Grand National. Anyway, there'll be a video about that. Look at that solarium in the back of this place here. Eh? Right on. It'd be nice to see another oldie besides that Cadillac there. I've already filmed it there. Apparently the guy was not the owner of the company. It was a, um, it was a driver and tour guide. Ah, oh, so that's where that pumper probably went, eh? I'm pretty sure this place must serve Italian food, eh? Pretty much betting on it. Oh yeah, now I recognize this for sure. This is Prince Arthur. Prince Arthur. Oh, this is a paramedic supervisor usually, or technical assistance actually. Yeah. This is a really beautiful street. This goes all the way to St. Laurent Street. And, uh... This is a sign saying they're going to close this place. You can see there used to be a dipper here. I don't know how a dipper closes. Probably probably got robbed too many freaking times. You know? Oh, there's the sign right there. Ah, damn it! It's Duluth! Duluth, not Prince Arthur, but they both look like this. They both look alike, those streets. They both have these, uh, the cobblestones, you know? Cobblestone si side, it's not even a sidewalk. I don't know how much more I'm going to film. Maybe a, one more block, maybe two maximum, something like that. Local delivery only.
I hope those paramedics recognize me. They should. I've been freaking filming their asses for years. Jeez, now that I think of it, I was asking that guy how much does it cost to take a, not a tour, but for we'll go for a ride in one of these classic cars, these classic Cadillacs. Because I have a, seen that, that company advertised before. It's called Throwback Tours. But now with the price of gas that here, I saw here in Montreal, which is like, holy Jesus, it's, uh, look at these original windows. Hey, the price of gas I saw today, I think was $2.21, right? So four liters is a gallon. So imagine, that's like a, practically $7 a gallon. And we're talking about a car that gets like 10 miles per gallon, maybe. <laughs> like 15 on the highway, it's horrible. Atrocious, atrocious! But yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I saw it. I'm telling you, it is addictive to ride in those cars. It was common people riding cars like that, huge cars, and they were like, living room on, living rooms on wheels. Okay, buddy, you had too much cologne on. I'm like, man. But, uh, it's, man, it's, again, they're just so expensive to operate. And, you know, I don't dream about owning a classic car as much as I used to. Um, obviously, it's not realistic. I'll never be able to drive legally, I'm sure. Pretty sure about that now at 46 years of age. But, you know, of course, it's always that little part of you that's... You still think of it, right? Because you love something so much, you'd like to be able to... Wow, look at those windows on those original doors. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's different, you know? Wow, that's a very original building. It looks like it could be good, might not be too good. Depends, you know? Some people have owned buildings for, like, decades, you know? And they didn't really change anything that didn't need to be changed i'm, I'm like that of that mentality as well i'm like if I'm, of, I'm of the old school if it ain't broke don't fix it you know like why would you on earth would you get rid of all these all these branches with leaves covering up part of this building it looks cool you know it's, it's part of its uh mystique no or why would you repaint this uh making me think of mcdonald's type of staircase here it's cool you know there's even antlers up there. Seems to be a hotel, actually. Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I've got to be good. So I can see my baby when I leave this world. You know, most of the time when there's a cover song that was made back in the old days, or good old days of rock and roll there, I usually like the original more, but there are exceptions to the rule. I don't even remember who does the original to that song, but it was a song done in the early 60s. That's a nice Accord Coupe. Maybe it's because it's from Ontario, and Ontario cars are in better condition usually than Quebec. Le Quebec! Anyway, that one I was saying there was by Mr. Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam. Mm, nice colors. Look at that, eh? Nice blues, green. You know, I don't like the Mini as a four-door, though. All right. Okay, you know what? My shoulder is still freaking hurting me because I fucked it up before, and it's been hurting for months. And I, yesterday I went to the hospital. I got an echogram. I got an x-ray. Uh, I hope it's not cancer. I don't think so, but it's, it seems to be worse than tendonitis. Where the hell am I now? Is this Prince Arthur? Pine Avenue? This is Pine Avenue. Where's the sign? There it is. But I remember I used to love coming to this part of town f for many, many years. If not, it was, if not just to walk around and find classic cars to take pictures of before I was filming, way before I was filming. Because I didn't start filming until the end of 2008. But it was fun to come here with my friends too, to come here to go clubbing or bars and stuff, you know? What's with this church, eh? It's not only really old, but it's got those Greek columns and it kind of looks like a bank. It's kind of weird. But it also looks pathetic too. It's all dirty and clearly needing work. You know. Oh, come on now. Hey, four in a row, man. I'm crossing over here. I'm crossing for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ Almighty. This is Montreal. Nobody fucking cares, you know. People are so selfish today. It can't take a fucking few seconds to stop. God forbid. I'm glad I filmed that, by the way, to make a point. You know, I'll tell you something right now. I don't want to be negative because I'm a king of it. But I'll tell you right now, I'm surprised sometimes that I don't witness an accident happening right in front of me. And all these years, all this stuff I'm filming, all these vehicles driving by, bikes and cars, people walking in an intersection. Very surprising indeed. I don't want to end on a 
bad note here at uh, Henri Julien and what the hell street am I on? Am I Pine Avenue, right? No, Rachel! I don't know my city. My freaking shoulder still hurts, so I really did it this time. <sighs> anyway, well, uh... Wow, what's with that Ford? It looks like something out of Jurassic Park. It looks like a good way to end with a bank. So, in the interim, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, uh, please subscribe and, you know... I don't want, I don't like saying all this stuff like, everybody, please subscribe, rate, and comment. No, you know, do what you want, man, you know? One more walking videos, there'll be more walking videos. I got a, a playlist of walking videos. I got a playlist of classic car videos I've seen, the car, classic cars at shows and on the street, and I film trains. I mean, look, look, look what I'm wearing today. Yes, sir, Canadian Pacific. You know? So, anyway, as you can see, you're finishing here at the rat race. The rat race of Montreal here, like any city, rush hour rat race. So I just want to finish with that, uh, that explore. It's bizarre. Oh, the hell with it. Forget about it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for other great stuff. And uh, I'd like to take a quote from a subscriber one time. He said to me, he said, you know what, Elton? He says, you are the transportation ambassador to Canada. Amen to that. Thank you very much, brother. That is definitely true. And there, there might, might be my Mr. Garneau by name, but uh, nobody's as dedicated to recording and documenting all transportation practically in Montreal and surrounding areas.